And we have new details today in that deadly crash that killed police officer Nicholas Reyna and Lieutenant Eric Hill last Saturday. This is both the police department and Lubbock Fire Rescue prepare for a candlelight vigil in honor of these first responders. And our Matthew Stell joins us live from the Regional Public Safety Memorial with a look at what happened and what you can expect if you're attending tonight. Matthew. Yeah, Lauren, hundreds and probably thousands are expected to gather here at the Lubbock Regional Public Safety Memorial to honor the lives of Officer Nicholas Reyna and Lieutenant Eric Hill, the two first responders we lost in that deadly crash last weekend. And now we're learning from officials about what exactly happened in that crash. TechStop provides us with this diagram that you'll see right here on your screen. What happened was a driver, a 50-year-old female driver, was traveling southbound on I-27. When she got closer to the airport, that's when she hit some inclement weather. She lost control and veered off into the center median. That's when she struck Officer Nicholas Reyna, and then she continued to lose control, and then her car entered into the northbound lanes of I-27, striking. Uh, that's where she struck two other five of course, one of those, Lieutenant Eric Hill, who was later transported to UMC where he was pronounced dead and Officer Nicholas Reyna was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, as it relates to that other firefighter uh, who was also injured in that crash, firefighter Matt Dawson, we're told today that he is in stable condition. His wife tells us that he has been in surgery most of the day, but that his recovery has been a lot better than expected. But she is still counting on your continued prayers as this long road of recovery continues. Lauren. So good to see Matthew that Dawson is doing better. For those who want to come out tonight, there are some things to look out for too, right? Yeah, for sure. If you're going to be heading out tonight, the vigil starts at 7 p.m. I'm going to step out of the way so you can, uh, we can see exactly where we are. We're right here at the South Loop and Quaker Avenue. If you're going to be heading this way, they will be closing down Quaker Avenue southbound from the Loop all the way up to 66th Street. So that at six o'clock will be closed down. So if you're traveling in that area, this road, Quaker Avenue from the Loop, South Loop up to 66th Street will be closed. And they asked if you are coming to get here early and you'll be able to park at the Centennial Bank right across the street and also the Garrison Institute for Age. And of course, bring a coat, but I think it'll be a, a great time for people to honor those lives of some great men that we lost last week. Lauren. It definitely will. Matthew, thank you so much.